One moment you're relieved, feeling like you've conquered something significant. Then suddenly, waves of emotions hit you. You try different things to soothe and release emotional buildup. Put it on With exercise, journaling Keep your clapping. thoughts, meditation. <laughs> Don't forget the astrology charts. Y'all know you can't forget the tarot cards, candles and stones too that these ladies be having. And seeking therapy to cope with the breakup and the dreams you had for the future. Tia Maori had a straight laced husband and do y'all remember what they were saying about him? When she filed for divorce, all these women out there who claim they want a good man, claim they want a straight fella, claim they want a God-fearing man, claim they just want a man who loves them for them, remember what they all said. You all said it's okay that she divorces a perfectly good man because, well, he doesn't make as much money as she does. I am really so overwhelmed by all of the support and the love that I have received. And I'm just so grateful of the community and just the fans that I have and the women. He takes care of his kids. He doesn't smoke dope. He's not getting into trouble. And they still said it was okay for her to divorce him. The women did not rise up and summarily condemn her. They supported her and said, well, well, he doesn't make as much money as she does. She makes more money than him, so it's okay that she divorces him because he's not on her level. Now, that's what all these so-called good women around the world said. Let's quit the bull jive. Someday, I believe I'll be able to look back on this time with nothing but warmth and gratitude for the beautiful children brought into my life and the stronger version of myself that emerged from the experience. This is somebody who regrets leaving a husband. A husband who doesn't even want to be seen with y'all. We are at the same award show. Doesn't care, doesn't want you to be anywhere near him. As the old saying goes, the grass is not always greener on the other side. At the end of the day, you wish your would have stayed right there where you were because the grass wasn't greener on the other side. That's exactly what happened to Tia Maori. Tia Maori felt that she was just too good to be married to Corey Hardrick. Sad music. I don't want to be in any relationship that doesn't serve me. Women who are not happy. They can't say I'm not happy because it sounds like the truth. Flashback. How did you know your life's better lived apart than together? I knew when I really started to focus on my happiness. One season later. I've only been in the dating world for, I want to say three months now, mm -hmm. and it is exhausting. exhausting. I want to throw the towel in. <laughs> what is wrong with, you know? <laughs> so many women who have given guys their body but don't nobody want to be a legacy with him. 99.9% .9 of people should explore their whole phase. My aunt told me, trust me, you're not going to marry that guy. And my baby daddy, you should go be a hoe. You should go hoe it up. And that's what I did. And I'm happy I got permission. I mean, I would have probably done it either way. There's healing in the hoeing. We talk about that in the book. We even had a merch that said, heal first, hoe later. I didn't have an adult hoe phase. College was my hoe phase. Freshman to junior year. <laughs> Those three years were strong. I'm not auditioning. This woman shows you who you are to her. This woman shows you. This ain't no contest you ain't gotta f do nothing but be you now how rare is that right. how rare is that if she somewhere else is not your girl that's the game she <laughs> belonged to the game your girl with you it ain't oh i'm mad at you because of this or we ain't together because of this or what that ain't your girl homie just remember that you're the prize always just remember <laughs> that you are the prize yes and so. what does that mean for you in relationships when you're like i'm the prize it's not compromising like my values my happiness my peace not settling for less than what i know i deserve and not being afraid to walk away from a situation if it's like no longer serving me if they leave you they not with you they mine is elsewhere you finally know your worth and he's not doing it for you anymore Everyone and their mother deserves a hoe phase in their life. Hoe phases are monumental to our personal and individual growth. What? <laughs> I feel like I, I do have a lot to say. It's just when am I going to say it? Greetings, you polite savages, and welcome to another Tip Talk. Well, it appears that Tia Maori just can't live with her decisions. I mean, ma'am, you're the one who broke up your marriage of 14 years. This man, there was nothing wrong with him. You even went on your show talking about how to leave a good man. 
One of my friends, she sent this beautiful letter to me from a woman who got a divorce. And my marriage was a success. Yeah. I look at it as like a curriculum. When you're in college, you're learning, you're growing, you're evolving, you're creating. And I was able to create with Corey some beautiful, amazing children. Mm -hmm. yeah. And at the end of that curriculum, there's a graduation, there's a celebration. And I feel like people look at, when they look at marriage, that success equals longevity. But no, at the end of the day, it's, are they happy? Are they thriving? Are they growing? And at, I feel like that is what is most important. And when you start to really work on yourself, love yourself, know your value, know your worth, and then all of a sudden there's this awakening. It's a hard journey. I feel like it is so, so worth it, so. Yeah, bro. You see, this happens to ladies in the modern era far more than it happened before. You see, you are falling victim to what you see. You see people living their best life on Instagram. You see your friends maybe doing a little more things than you. You got a hardworking, good looking man who's faithful to his family, faithful to his children, being a good father, bringing his check home. And what do your ladies do? You leave them anyway. Now, let me go on and say not all, because we're gonna hear the hordes in the masses of frantic women saying not everyone just just a few but it seems like ma'am that it's more than just a few it seems like ma'am that this is the trend you see what happens is that people care about their happiness more than anything it's about how they feel and how they are going to live in the future and what they can do to feel better and not the family unit. And then we sit here and we wonder why the family unit in this country is falling apart. It's because too many people have this selfish, narcissistic, sociopathic need to be the most important person in any situation. And Miss Mowry, we're talking about you. See, a lot of ladies that have problems in their youth they have raw beauty, raw charisma, but the skills that would keep them in the game as their looks maybe deteriorate, soft skills, being able to get along with a man, you know, wisdom, they may not work on that. And when I look at Tia Maori, she's just that kind of person. She didn't really work on it, y'all. So now you're not 22, Tia Maori, but you're 45 acting like you're 22 and you still looking good, but now you got real 22 year olds out there that can still have kids and they're a lot less expensive to deal with than dealing with you. And that's how you get forced out of the dating market because you really can't attract what you want. And when you see young guys coming down the pipe, that's exactly what that means. Sorry. And everything that O'Shea Duke Jackson says here is the absolute cold hard truth. Ladies, if you found a good man and went through the ringer vetting him carefully, that he is an upstanding, moral, law-abiding citizen, then you must secure the good man at all costs. Once you have secured that man in your clutches, do not let that man go. It is downright idiotic to go find yourself, which really translates to every man with an earshot, is you jumping on the rooster rocket cocket carousel. Ho ho face. Ladies, young ladies, middle-aged ladies, old ladies, if you happen to discard that good man that's by your side, then Tia Maori's future, minus the fame, is what's waiting for you out there. Only gonna be them boys, young guys, smart and dumb, full of cum, slide it through, going for that easy layup. Then you got the older guys like myself that's gonna go for that Kobe to shack alley you dunk. If you are lucky enough to find a good man to take you off the market and marry you, don't go self-sabotaging your marriage when you got more miles of wear and tear, maybe a kid or two or four or even seven, competing against competitive females of all kinds, prime time in their 20s and 30s on the open modern day dating market. Just wait till you hear what Jason Black, the business B1 dollar sign, got to say about this whole situation. Tia Maori, a whacked out, mentally, emotionally imbalanced individual who broke up her home. She had a husband. Wasn't cheating on her, wasn't beating on her, wasn't nothing else. Eh, I'm tired, I'm bored. And her Instagram is a shrine to narcissism. I'm all about inspiring and encouraging. The DMs that I have gotten from so many women that are going through the same thing and just saying how they admire my courage and my strength. 
I feel so blessed. Tia Maori is exactly the kind of female you want to stay away from. She got crazy eyes and the attitude to match. The red flags over her are overwhelming. Debutante syndrome out of this damn world. She's nothing but a walking headache and a self-saboteur. If you sh shackle yourself to her, you'll be in the same boat. This is what they throw at Michael. And as black men, this is an insult. What's crazy about this is that on social media, the internet, and the movies, TV shows and other platforms, the incessant message being pushed to the modern man is that men must alter their dating preferences to accept women that are not up to code and looks, attributes, personality, their ethics, morals, and values, that we must embrace all flaws, bad choices, and decisions by these lovely ladies. Average and below average females are demanding the same outcomes as seven, eights, nines, and tens with the entitled expectation that they are owed a blue or white collar Henry high earner, not rich yet, or a high value man. The producers, the protectors, and the providers. The sisterhood, whether the good apple sisters or the sinister sisterhood, all want the same thing. A man like Michael B. Jordan, well, maybe more like Michael B. Jordan in the future if he was matched up as one person. Expecting a unicorn of a man to manifest himself into existence right before their eyes. You can be the most eligible black man in America, the most accomplished, the one who should have all the options, and they are still gonna come to you and tell you that you need to grab what was sitting out there in the bottom of the damn discount bin. What? You can never be successful enough, never be accomplished enough, never be young enough to have somebody who ain't run through, run by, run over with them telling you that that's what you need. Folks, if they just said for the layup, that would be different. How the hell can you be serious about Crazy Eyes Maori? They bring the damn leftovers and the cast offs to us. Work your ass off. Not so you can have the pick of the litter, not so you can have the choice cuts, but so you can have the damn leftovers. And then you'll write articles trying to bash us and bully us and tell us, shouldn't you be thinking over here? From my observations like a ninja watching from the rooftops, the narrative and strongly implied directives from mainstream modern woman media being pushed onto black men and to men is ridiculous, plain, dumb, foundingly asinine. They out here policing men's options. Instead of getting the most optimal woman for marriage and children, they want us men to reach down and bottom feed the bottom of the barrel. Captain save -a bargain price damaged goods. The canary in the coal mine is wilding out, chirping away as a warning to all men, regardless of color, creed, faith, and philosophy. In this modern new age of the Western world is to put up with the disrespect, the over-masculine hypersexual liberation, the mercurial wishy-washy flip-flop flippant roller coaster of emotions of the modern woman. The powers that be in the preachers of the modern woman ethos in their perfect world want you to conform, submit, and surrender your masculinity, your manhood, your money to be under their control. This is the game you choose to play or not, but you must adapt and evolve because when it comes down to a Tia and women like her. And she's trying to make every excuse to make herself to be a winner when the reality is nobody wants to deal with you on your level. Okay? You can try to make and write your history and rewrite history and recreate history to make it seem like you're winning in the end, but we all know that that's not it. You thought the grass was going to be greener on the other side, and nobody at your financial level or educational level is willing to put up with someone like yourself. That's really what it is. This unicorn man, this six foot rich dude, and I don't think women understand, you know how many other women are also looking for that same man? Mm. So to expect that, you can certainly get that, but I don't even think a woman would understand how to how to keep that kind of man because that kind of man don't need you. Mm. And to think you got a magical coochie cat is not going to keep that man with money because there are women that are just trying to throw it at him all the time. So I don't I don't know where that's coming from. I don't I don't understand it. It never made any sense to me because it takes a if you got a man that is that is on a purpose and he's able to provide that way women don't even shut up enough to stay with that type of man mm. and then wonder why he's cheating on a woman who's not attractive as you or less than you it, we're in a crazy crazy delusion and guys who are older and we see what's going on with somebody like her we're like yeah man like this 
we got to get away from her. We got to get away from her. Like whatever we do, somebody that acts like that is unstable. And there is absolutely no way you can have a functional relationship as a man with somebody who thinks and acts like that lady there. Like it is not even possible. And one thing is true is that Tia Maori always looks like she has sorrow for her decisions, but she refuses to understand that everything that she has in life, it's gonna take work. You see that relationship, ma'am, it's gonna take work because nothing's perfect all the time. You're never gonna feel 100% valued all the time. You're never gonna be the center of attention all the time. You're never gonna be the person that the sun rises and falls for all the time. Especially when kids come into the situation. So what happens? You destroy your family unit for no reason. And then you get on camera and you start crying as normal. Brought into my life and the stronger version of myself that emerged from the experience. Straight out the Modern Woman playbook. Whenever I'm wrong, let me bring some tears. And then her sycophantic enabling sisterhood. I'm looking on your Instagram. This is the happiest you have ever been in a long time. And I said, you know what? I'm so proud of you because you are showing you walk in your truth, look look what happens no matter what. And she's the voice for, for so many right now. You can just be a female, you can be as raggedy as you wanna be, and we're gonna try to pressure the men into circling back around and basically what they're saying is every hoe gets a husband. What? The females don't have to change anything. They can commit grievous, inexcusable errors and there should be somebody who is desirable who gonna circle back around and show them, see, you gonna win no matter what you do. You can mess up the world, you can screw up your kids, you can blow up your family, you can destroy the neighborhood, you can mess up the community, you can get on Instagram with your psychoses, and a straight-laced man who's got status and desirable needs to come back around after you've created all that wreckage and show that you can still be rewarded. We take our power back by sharing our stories and bringing any deep shame we hold from this experience into the light. I love you guys, Tia. Fans come and they say the exact same thing. Lady, you are beautiful. Go on, you deserve happiness. You deserve to be the queen that you are. You have always been her and he is not it. But if he wasn't it, why have you tried to go back to him one, two, and three times? Why have you always been trying to reconcile? Because see, that unicorn man out there, it, your time is gone for him. I mean, you were with the best you were gonna get, and you're not gonna get that anymore. And even if he does get back with you, do you think it's gonna be the same? Do you think he's gonna look at you the same after that? Ma'am, if you think that way, stop the cap. Because you can lie to yourself, repeating that line. Ma'am, because if you think that way, stop the cap. You can lie to other people, but you need to stop lying to yourself. <laughs> and this reality show that you got coming about your newly single status, which ain't too new. You've been out here crying about how hard it is to date for a, a, a good country year. And you're going to be talking about building a business and motherhood. But most of all, oh, you ready to date now. But Miss Mowry, of course, people are ready to smash. You're good looking. For your age, you, you up there. But how many men do you think are going to take that chance of getting with you, building a life, and having you walk away? Because even though they were good and they were a good man, they just weren't good enough. You should stay far away as hell as you can from somebody like her. It's the only way that you're somehow gonna get away and stay away because something is wrong with that lady. The, you know, that guy probably has never had that much peace until you left. He's like, thank God. That's all I got for you, you polite savages. Like and subscribe, hit us up on all social media networks. <laughs> we found true.